Oh, hey, Chris. How was the uh, colonoscopy? Oh, brutal, man. I, I don't know, something snapped off and it's just hurting. Yikes. Sorry about that. Hey, you know how some dogs sort of look like their owners? What if case makers shared the same traits as their cases? That's ridiculous. No, it kind of works, right? I mean, because like the Pure Bay 600 is cool, right? And, and you're arguably cool, right? Hmm. The case is super quiet and you've always been on the soft spoken side. Yeah, yeah. See, it's totally true. Actually, there's one more thing we have in common. What's that? Well, after the colonoscopy, I think I also support a 360 millimeter radiator. Does that like include push pull or? The Pure Bay 600 from Be Quiet offers a tempered glass side panel, sound damping material, and a highly versatile design. Ships with a pair of powerful Pure Wings 2 fans and intentional support for 360 radiators. Click the link in the description for more info. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is pretty exciting because I'm going to be teaching my grandpa how to use a PC for the very first time. Now he's never used a computer in his life, so it should be a pretty interesting video. And ever since I moved in with him about two years ago, he's been sort of surrounded by PC hardware. He's watched me, uh, you know, build sections of a PC here and there as I do it quite frequently. And I think all that exposure has gotten him curious about actually using one. So on occasion for the past few months, he would ask me if I could to teach him how to use a computer and I said sure of course and finally we're getting around to it today um, I actually built him his own system which is right here uh, you can go ahead and check out that build video if you haven't seen it yet it's uh, it's pretty fun and uh, I think it's a pretty pretty robust system that we have here for him especially since he's mainly gonna be using the internet um, but uh, yeah it should be pretty fun my expectations for this are I think since he's never really even touched a computer in his life I think he's going to be a bit overwhelmed by the whole whole thing. I think there are going to be certain things that he's just been used to all his life doing uh, analog, and now now he's going to have the digital version of it, and I think it's going to be a lot to unpack at first. But I think overall it's going to be a positive experience for him. I think a small part of me hopes that he eventually becomes so proficient with PCs that he can then help me with my YouTube channel. I mean, how awesome would that be if he could just handle all the gaming benchmarks from here on out? Although, he did recently leave tinfoil in the microwave, so... Might have to rethink that idea. I don't really have any reservations about teaching him how to use a PC. I think my worst fear is that he just simply won't enjoy it or he'll find it too complicated and give up. And then I'll have no use for this system. I mean, literally I'll just have to douse it in gasoline and light it on fire, which I never enjoy doing. So I think on that note though, we're, I think we're ready to, to unveil this to him for the first time and, uh, and get his reaction. That should be kind of fun. And then we'll just dive into some simple lessons, simple tutorials on just how to use a PC to get him up and running on his own two feet. So here we go, guys, teaching my grandpa how to use a computer for the very first time. All right, grandpa. Well, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you uh, being in one of my videos and taking the time out of your day. Are you ready to see your computer for the first time? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unveil it for you. Here it is. I present to you your very first computer. Oh, wow. Beautiful. <laughs> you, you like it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, boy. I made it I made it pretty for you. Oh, you made it. GTX 1080. Yeah, you, you like it? Why not 1080 and TI? Uh, well, I just I just figured since you're browsing the web, you, let's just hook it up. Let, 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 let's look at it. Up. So the first step is to turn the computer on and what I'm going to need you to do is stand up and if you look on the top of the computer, that button right there, go ahead and, uh, and, and press that. This hmm. bravo, this, that was beautiful. Now you can see that the, the computer is, is loading up, it's booting up. So you have to give it a few seconds, it takes a while for it to uh, fully prepare. Here we are, this is called the desktop. The desktop is basically the first screen that you see when you turn your computer on. And you can put different icons and different uh, applications on your desktop. So the, the one that I have here for you right, right now is uh, Google Chrome. And that's the program we use to access the internet. You're gonna wanna put your hand on the mouse and you're gonna wanna navigate over to that icon with your index finger, click it twice in a row. There you go. This is your, your home page. Your home page is basically the website, the first website you see when you start browsing the internet. So right now your homepage is Google. It's a search website that allows you to search for anything. What would you want to search for? Anything anything you want. Toy, toy. Toys? 
Okay, so you can uh, you can click in the in the box, the search box. Now you can start typing what you want to search for. So using the keyboard, you can type in toys. So um, go ahead and find the uh, the letters for that. Now you've entered the realm of online shopping here, which uh, can be very addicting. So if you wanted to, the internet lets you buy um, certain products. Actually, there's a lot of products online that you can buy. So if you wanted to, you can add it to your cart, you know, like a, like a shopping cart. Yes. Obviously, when you're online, you don't have a physical shopping cart that you're pushing around, but the internet still calls it a cart because it's something we're, we're familiar with. Yes. So if you wanted to buy the Bugs Bunny DVD, you could click add to cart, and then at that point it would ask you for your credit card information and your shipping address and things like that, oh. so that it can um, send you the DVD when it's ready. Yes. Um, this is you, kind you, of your credit card. Huh? Yeah, you can use a credit card exactly. Yeah. Um, so let's let's uh, so that's kind of a, a very basic overview of how to browse the web just briefly. Um, but there's a couple other things you can do, uh, including um, email. So basically email just as a refresher is it's kind of like writing someone a letter yes. but it's all done on the computer and it's uh, it's instantaneous anything that you write and send someone will receive immediately yes. um, and then and then they can then proceed to write you back immediately if they want to sometimes they don't write back and you just kind of sit there wondering why but uh, let's let's go ahead and get you registered with an email account now I've already created a book marks bar here for you. These are these are bookmarks. These allow you to, to access your frequently visited websites more easily. So I've already made a couple here. One's for your email. So if you ever want to look at your email, all you have to do is click it and it takes you to the Gmail uh, inbox that we created for you. From here you can see all of your new emails. Um, obviously no one's emailed you yet because uh, no one knows that you have an email address. And this is also where you can write emails. You can send emails to people. Uh, the way you do that is by clicking on the red Compose button. Just a single click there. And now, you see how this box is opened up? Mm -hmm. So that box is kind of like, um, it's kind of like your, the paper. Oh, you can tie it. Kind of like the paper that you're gonna be um, writing on. Have to tie it, right? Yes, exactly. So you're gonna have to type. And in order to send an email to anyone, you first need to know their email address. Yes. Kind of like a phone number, right? Yes. yes. So you want to send it to, um, let's do an email to me, all right? Yeah. Subject is like uh, the title of your letter or the title of your email. Yes. And if you want, you can leave it blank, but it's generally a good idea to, to put something in here. Yeah. That way, when the person receives your email, they kind of know what it's about right without having to read the whole thing and then you have this big the big window here this big empty box where you can write anything you want so you can write dear kyle you are my favorite grandson yeah in fact make that grandchild how come you make the, the big, 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 big letter and you big letter and, and oh, how, how you make the big letter? Oh, how do you make it capitalized? Yeah. Um, so the way you do that is uh, you hold shift and then press the key. Oh. So um, like a little T would just be hitting it like that, but a big T would be holding shift and then hitting T. And once you've got everything there, you can just click the blue send button right here. Mm. You just click it. And it'll say right here in this yellow box, it says, your message has been sent. Mm -hmm. So that means probably within a few seconds, the recipient will have received the email you just wrote. Mm -hmm. So I can actually check right now on my phone to see if I got your email. Yep, there it is. It says, dear Kyle, you're my favorite grandson. In fact, make that grandchild, period. <laughs> so thank you. That was a beautiful, it's the nicest email I've ever gotten. So now let's talk about YouTube briefly and how to use that because it's, uh, it's a glorious platform that allows you to watch a lot of useless videos for free. Yeah. Unless, unless it's BitWit Ultra. That's a buck fifty a month. Mm. First two weeks are free though. So to access YouTube, you can see I've also added a bookmark for you right here where it says YouTube. Yeah. So you can just click that and it'll take you right there. What's what's something that you might want to see a video of on YouTube? It could be anything you want. Is it on video? Yeah, those are all videos. I have a hard time to see. 
How about trending? Trending, uh, nothing good is ever on trending. So you you don't you want to avoid trending at all costs. It's a it's a long story to get into right now. But let's search for for monkeys. So the internet's smart, right? So if you start typing in monkey, you'll see all of these other suggestions pop up. Basically, the internet or YouTube is trying to guess what you're about to type based on what other people in the past have searched for. So you've got monkeys jumping on the bed, monkey eating a banana, monkey on the car, monkey throws poop at grandma. Mm. I like that one. There you go. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and click on the first one. And now we can watch a video of a monkey throwing poop at grandma. Not mm. not my grandma, not our <laughs> grandma, of course. But there he did, he just threw the poop. Oh no. <laughs> It's on the ground. <laughs> and then there, there's a guy laughing at her. That's rude. That was, uh, so you just watched, you. those are 20 seconds you can never get back. Oh. Um, but, uh, welcome to the internet. What's a, what's a song that you, that you enjoy? Elvis. Elvis? Okay. So why don't we do that? Why don't we go ahead and click in the search bar right here. In, in the... Yep. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Okay, now I've got my little mini speaker connected, so go ahead and, and hit the play button. The little uh, the little triangle. So, do you know this song? Yeah. You do? Yeah. So now you can listen to the song, and you can actually watch this anytime. And you can watch it as many times as you want. There's probably a 10-hour version of it somewhere. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, this, is, this is pretty much what YouTube's good for. Oh. Um, Watching it's for entertainment a lot of the time yes. or uh, or education as well kind of like what I do So before I get flagged for copyright infringement, let's go ahead and pause this Okay, grandpa, I think we've learned a lot today and this is probably a lot to take in for you But you did really good. Honestly, I think you're gonna be a computer whiz in no time so before we close out the video, I want to quickly just show you how to shut the system down or how to turn the computer off um, the best way to do that, first of all, is grab the mouse and to close this window, to close the internet, you want to highlight the, the big X that's in the, in the very far top right corner. And then you want to go to the very bottom left corner where you see that little white square. Go ahead and click that. Beautiful. Um, you'll see that it says power right there. So you want to click where it says power because you actually want to power the, the computer down. So click that. There you go, and you should see an option for shut down. I might have to enlarge the text for you because it's a little bit tiny. I didn't really uh, take that into consideration. We are using a 1080p monitor, so I felt the scaling wouldn't be um, quite as awful if we were doing something like 4K. But after you click shut down, you'll see that your monitor and your computer will turn off. Oh, you don't have to print the button, huh? Nope. Oh, In no. fact, it's generally a better idea to use um, the mouse in order to, to shut everything down yes. um, through the software. So I think we have learned quite a bit today. <laughs> we've, we've, we've covered a lot of ground and you did really well. You were absolutely fantastic. I, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be a computer whiz in no time. But um, what did you think about your first computer experience today? <laughs> I, I, I think I, I like it. You like it? Yeah. What, which, which part that I showed you today did you like the most? YouTube. You liked YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube's pretty awesome. It's got that visual element. And, uh, and there's definitely a lot that can be seen. And the email too. And unseen. Uh, the email too is very useful. I think you're gonna, you're, you're gonna really enjoy that once you start um, messaging your friends back and forth. But on that note, Grandpa, thank you so much again for um, being a part of this little video. I, I really do appreciate it. <laughs> and and hopefully uh, you enjoy your new computer from here on out. Maybe we'll do another lesson. Maybe we'll do a lesson two if there's enough demand for it. I don't know. Le leave your guys' feedback in the comments below and be sure to toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, congratulate my grandpa for his first PC endeavor. Welcome to the PC Master Race, grandpa. Uh, it is a, a, a beautiful community that I'm sure you're going to fit in just fine. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a good one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.